the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Shalom Aleichem, peace be to you, dear friends. In this video, I am going to share with you one of the best investment plan which you can practice in 2020. We all do hard work and smart work to take care of ourselves and our family, kid and kin, and in a special way, our children. But we do a lot of work, but we don't have enough to protect ourselves and family as well as for children. And there is a beautiful spiritual technique to invest properly for you and for your family, for your children. And I'm going to teach you that technique. Now, when I was very small, there was a function in my family called my sunnat. You know what's my sunnat? It is my circumcision. Uh, of course, you know that I was born Muslim, but now I'm Catholic. Okay. Anyway, uh, it is a big function like christening as well as uh, the first holy communion of Christians. And a lot of my relatives, they came the previous evening of my circumcision with a lot of gifts to make me happy and joyful. Anyway, I got a lot of gifts in a special way. I got a lot of coins and rupees and some money with me. And I was so excited and thrilled because in my childhood, I got a lot of money, you know. Next day morning, when every relative left the home, I, I was thinking, what to do with this money? I have two options. One, I can give, the, I can hand over this money to my dad or my siblings, but I don't trust them completely. If I hand over the money to them, definitely I will not get any profit. And I am sure that I may not get the capital investment also. I may get little less because they will use for their purpose and say, that is what, this is what, you know, so I don't trust. But I can trust my mama a little more, more than anyone in the family. So what I did is secretly, silently, I hand over all money to mama saying that mama, please keep it with you. I know that when I am really in need, you will help me with money. And she was happy. She accepted and kept it in a purse. After a few months, one day I need some money. So I went and said, mama, I have given you little money, but I need this much. Can you help me out? You know what she did? She brought her purse out and she kept it in front of me saying that take all. When I opened, there was a lot of money. I think, you know, what I give was very little, but from the purse, I got a lot of money. And I don't remember exactly the amount, but it was really much more than what I need that time. So whenever you invest some money with a person whom you can trust and with a person who really loves you, definitely the profit is unimaginable and more than your expectation in real time. So you must know whom to trust and to whom you must invest. Let me tell you, on earth as well as in heaven, we have only God to trust with all our heart. So the investment should be in God. In 2020, take a decision, my brothers and sisters, invest in God. Now the question, what to invest? People think that it is diamond or gold or jewelry or money, but God is the creator of everything. So he don't need your God, uh, he don't need your gold or ornaments or diamonds, anything, because he can create everything with a word. So then what to invest? What he expects from human being is to invest goodness, kindness, love. That is what he expects. If I invest goodness, definitely I will get the benefit of that goodness. Not only me, my generation also. That can be one, two, three, four, seven or countless. Generation also will benefit. Now, the question, how to invest this goodness? Something very, very important. I'll give you an example. This morning, now you are driving. And on the way, you saw someone park the car in the wrong side. And suddenly you get angry and you honk. And then you may say some bad word also. There you are investing something negative. Suppose if you saw the situation and when you get angry, suddenly you say, you tell yourself, have self-control. And this is a time where you need patience. So you are inviting the goodness of patience. And then after a few minutes, you go out and speak to that person kindly, lovingly, make him to understand. So again, you are investing the goodness called love, kindness, joy and peace. And after doing all these good things, you know what you have to say? You must say, Lord, I invest this goodness of today in your account. And not only one goodness, you can do many goodness every day. Even your work is an investment for you. Now, for example, you're working in a company. Uh, but if you're working in a company only to earn salary for you and for your family, there is no goodness in it. 
but you are working in a company but you you are thinking the goodness of the boss and the company and if you really with that intention if you work wherever you are you are inviting goodness and that work itself is goodness for you so you are working 8 hours 8 hours goodness you are collecting but the intention should be the boss for whom you are working he and his family and his society all should be good so you will do sincere work without robbing a minute from your work that's how you can invest goodness wherever you are and however you are every second you can do some goodness so today you take a decision that today maybe 30 40 50 100 goodness i will collect and invest in the lord and what's the benefit you know when you are really in need of or when you are really facing a trouble you can pray god have mercy on me then your angel guardian angel will go to heaven and search your account your bank account there are a lot of goodness angel will bring that goodness to you with the interest now suppose you were not in trouble but your children they are drunkards or smokers or very bad you know they they, they live a wise life uh, you know with a lot of vices in their life but one day when they were really in trouble they will pray lord have mercy on us if they pray like that you know what happens their guardian angels will go to heaven and search their account and it is empty because they did not invest any good things then the angels will go to godhead and say god so and so is praying and i searched his account it's empty what to do then god will say he belongs to that so and so which means his father is so and so his mother is so and so go and check their account you know if you did lot of goodness when the angel comes and search your account, there will be a lot of bank balance. Then the angel will say, Lord, that boy prayed, but no investment in his account. But his father was very holy. His mother was very holy. A lot of goodness. What can I do? God will say, please take at least monthly investment of this goodness and give to, your, give to that son. Give to that daughter. You know, my brothers and sisters, if you really want your son or daughter to be happy on earth, if you want your children and grandchildren to lead a happy life on earth, the best thing, you invest something goodness now. There is no other way. And you know, children get immorality not by reading the Quran or Gita or any other Purana, Idihasa, any other religious scriptures. They get the goodness by the example of their parents. So they all, you know, if you try to invest goodness every second in your life by seeing that they also will try to invest goodness. Even if they do not do that, remember from your account, God will bless them. One day they will receive all the benefits. So in 2020, when you are thinking about how to earn money more, how to earn fame more, how to build my business more, how to invest all the material things. Let me ask you to invest little spiritual thing also. Every day, you know, you have 24 hours a day, at least 24 goodness you must do. You write down or you think and say, okay, this hour I did this goodness, this hour I did this goodness. If you practice that, definitely God will bless you and your generations. May Almighty God bless you and peace be with you.